It was December 3rd, and the last drink I had was a bottle of wine at 7 a.m. in the morning. I had been on a nine-day bender. And my husband was called to the hospital to come tend to me, and he took a picture of me, and I was infuriated at the time, but I remember thinking, it ends today. I remember laying there thinking, when I get through this detox, I will never drink again. I said, I will never again devalue myself over the thoughts my husband or my mother has about me. And today starts the day I start figuring out who I am and what I want in life. So I started drinking late in life. I started drinking at 28 and I was in trouble by my 40s. I admitted myself to the hospital on my 40th birthday. And for the next six years, I tried to get sober unsuccessfully. I did go to AA meetings, and when the bottom finally fell out, I called Jim Rocious, and he answered, and he asked me to come meet him at Harvest, and I did. I immediately went there, and I walked in to the church, and there was a casket there, and I was hoping it was a prop, and he said, it's not. I believe he said the kid was 24 years old. organizing homes for eight years and one of the ways I stay connected is the clothes that I'm giving uh, on jobs that I organize I bring to the, uh, the women in the program because a lot of them come with nothing and I've been doing that for six years now. She was the greatest love of my life. And I really didn't know how I was going to get through that sober. But I said, I refuse to give up what I want most for what I want tonight. 